All right, we're, we're talking here to ourselves about what we just seen in the sky. And I've seen many shooting stars, even out here years ago. And they come across the sky. I mean, when they come across, they're moving. That's my dark finger. This thing was like in flight, in direct line. Mm -hmm. There was no pattern, one left or right, direct line. And it was coming across the sky. It wasn't a super high rate of speed, like a shooting star, nothing like that. But it was quicker, depending on the distance from me, you know, from a regular plane. That It was moving, that, it was moving pretty darn brisk, I'll say it that way, it to did. these planes that we see come across. And the UPS comes real close to our house. Sometimes you'll hear that almost whistling noise when they're coming in for landing. And it was like... Dude, what the hell are we seeing here? This is, you know, I was in the Air Force 10 years at Barksdale Air Force Base. I've seen a lot of different planes, you know, common stuff. And uh, the B-2 bomber, that was probably one of the coolest. Uh, I don't know if I've seen the SR-71 Blackbird fly in person. I cannot remember. I don't think I, I don't think I have. But, you know, I'm sure that it'll flat get it. And I love that plane anyway, but I'm interested in all kinds of planes. It was like almost they were in a line, almost like they were refueling each other. It, and that's it's kind of how to say it, but there was like 16 or 17 of them in a line. Yeah. Like white white dots. And almost were, like a, 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 a you know a main plane. pull plane and a glider behind. You know, we could not see any form, just the lights, but it was just pulling straight along through the sky. One light, another, 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 directly behind each other. There was no uh, difference in the uh, alignment. It was like a perfectly straight line, like the the first or all were attached and moving at the same time. Now, so I was like, dude, what the hell are we witnessing here? Yeah, and turn what, the light on, blind and, shit. And you know, I, I had my headlights on, and then when I turned my headlights on, that's when they like uh, he said they disappeared behind a cloud. No, you come over and shut them off, and I was trying to record, but all I could get was a black sky. Yeah. But right about directly above us here to the right, uh, we witnessed some uh, some trees here, but I was sitting this, standing this side of the driveway more up here, and I could see them coming after he witnessed it. I put my phone up. He was trying to get his phone out of my Impala. I put my phone up, but I'm going to go in the house and see in the dark if I can see any light form. Uh, and two, you know, we can't put it past the view because we're not too far from Fort Knox. So, you know, they do do yeah. training and stuff like that. But that, well, that, that was, was something different. Well, that was nothing normal. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely different. Positively nothing normal. You know, I was in the Army, and I've been to Fort Knox, and I've never seen something like that. No. I mean, that's that was ludicrous, insane. It was exciting to see and you're wondrous like what in the hell am i looking at and like i said they were all white lights no color direct line and it was moving across the sky you know i don't know how many thousand feet up but it was moving across the sky much quicker Maybe than an and than an airplane would even a fast jet uh. but i mean this was it when it come up in front of me here to near the end of our driveway you know, at a distance, way out and way up. It just went up like it went behind clouds, and everything just disappeared. I really wish we would have caught that on camera for you guys. Well, I'm going to try. We're talking about, you sound, we sound like crazy people, but we literally saw it go across the sky. I'm going to go in the house and see if I can see any of the lights. I'll post the video. But we're in, like I said, we're in the first video, we're in Kentucky. And I've seen many shooting stars go across the sky, and it goes much quicker. The, this sucker was like in a formation, direct line, white lights. At this distance, the lights appeared really close together, like it was one long train. That's what I want to describe it as, as a train almost in the like, sky. Uh, almost like, you know, you had fighter jets and they fly in a formation, but it was in a straight line. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't, oh, I can they, you my finger. hear the sound like a fighter jet or anything like that. We were just freaking because Justin was like, what is that? What is that? He just asked me three or four times. Well, I couldn't see it behind these trees right here. This little group of trees right there. 
I'll cast a little more light. So I stepped to the right and looked further up in the sky. I'd say they were, I don't know, how many miles do you think they were away from us? Mount Washington is in that direction. Yeah. And, yeah, I'd say at least, and then way up. But, you know, we can see all the stars with just our eyes here. Of course, and the light is different with a camera, but. My, my it was, was like, his, and I was trying to get my phone to so take a, a video of it, but um, yeah, my, he's my got phone. a much better camera. I don't know if he would have picked it up, but I'm going to go in the house and I hope and pray that I can see something of those lights in a row on the first video that we did. But I'll post both of these. All right, let's go. Let's go tell your mother. I mean, like I said in the first video, I mean, I've never witnessed anything. Maybe it's the new technology. For the be. services, but, could be, but I, I don't know. I I was, like I'm gonna see if I can ask around I mean, in Mount Washington and see if anybody like, else or the neighbors seen that. I'm thinking like maybe like refueling like a fuel, you know, fuel lodge, uh, you know, lodge uh, in the air because I've seen those like the refuelers. I've seen them, but nothing like that because they were all yeah. in one line. It's usually you got the big refueling plane. And yeah, I can't well, get up these steps. Like My side of nerve. Yeah, like one and were... two, one another behind. This was like 15, 18, maybe 20 lights directly in line. Like one was pulling the other. Or somehow they were linked together. Sorry about the dirty laundry room. I can't, I can't walk. Or bend over. We're raising grandkids, so. Oh, boy. I can go here and talk to my wife and see. Ask her. Not awake. She's not awake. No, she's. Oh man, I wanted to talk to her, but we'll sign off here, guys. This is just absolutely nuts. Well, hopefully, an alien don't knock on my door in the middle of the night. <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do. Oh boy, I had a buddy at GE that was really into the alien stuff. You know, I think it's probably our future technology. We just don't know about yet. But uh, we'll uh, let you all go. And uh, keep your eyes to the sky. Because you never know what you might see. That's the first unusual encounter that me and Justin, I think, have ever seen in our lives. So we were super excited. Talk to you all later.